The United Kingdom's E-7 Wedgetail program, a cornerstone of the Royal Air Force's modernization efforts, is advancing toward operational capability, with recent developments underscoring both progress and persistent challenges. On July 10, 2025, the RAF announced via its official X account that the first E-7 Wedgetail Airborne Early Warning and Control aircraft, designated WT Zyrzo-1, successfully completed a system validation flight, marking a critical milestone in the program. This test flight, part of a rigorous evaluation campaign, aimed to verify the functionality and reliability of mission-critical systems, including the aircraft's mission suite, radar performance, communications integration, and data fusion capabilities. As the lead test and evaluation platform, WT Zazero one is paving the way for the RAF's transition from its retired E-3D Sentry fleet to a next-generation AEWNC capability, with initial operational capability now projected for 2026. The E-7 Wedgetail, developed by Boeing and based on the 737 Next Generation commercial airframe, integrates the Northrop Grumman multi-role electronically scanned array radar. Mounted in a dorsal fin structure, the MISA radar provides 360-degree coverage, capable of tracking airborne and maritime targets at ranges exceeding 400 kilometers. Designed for high-tempo battle management, the Wedgetail enables simultaneous surveillance, airspace control, and coordination of friendly forces in real time. Its advanced digital communications, threat tracking software, and open architecture design ensure flexibility for future upgrades, making it a transformative asset for the RAF. With an endurance of over 10 hours, reduced crew requirements, and superior sensor accuracy, the E-7 enhances force coordination across air, land, and sea domains, offering real-time mission control and dynamic retasking for improved responsiveness in contested environments. The UK's acquisition of the E-7 Wedgetail began with a £1.89 billion contract signed with Boeing in March 2019, initially for five aircraft to replace the aging E-3D Sentry fleet. However, in 2021, the Ministry of Defense reduced the order to three airframes to cut costs, a decision that has sparked ongoing debate about the RAF's operational capacity. The program encompasses aircraft conversion, radar integration, support equipment, and training systems, with conversion work being conducted by STS Aviation Services at Birmingham Airport, ensuring a significant contribution from British industry. Despite the reduced fleet size, the Wedgetail's advanced capabilities are seen as critical for maintaining the UK's edge in airborne battle management, particularly in supporting NATO air policing, ballistic missile defense, and multinational air campaigns. Recent progress in the program, particularly the successful test flight of WT-01, highlights the RAF's commitment to fielding a state-of-the-art AEWNC platform. The flight tested critical systems, building on earlier functional check flights conducted in September and October 2024, which focused on baseline aircraft systems without activating the main radar. However, the program has not been without challenges. Flight testing was stalled for eight months, contributing to delays that have pushed initial operational capability from the early 2020s to 2026. These setbacks have been compounded by technical and management issues, including Boeing 737 MAX-related assurance requirements, which have slowed the conversion process. The reduction in fleet size has also raised concerns about the RAF's ability to meet NATO and national commitments, with analysts warning that maintenance and training requirements could limit operational availability to just one or two aircraft at any given time. The Strategic Defense Review, recently conducted, has underscored the E-7 Wedgetail's strategic importance, emphasizing its role in enhancing warfighting capabilities, such as persistent deep strike options and missile threat detection. The SDR has also sparked discussions about potentially expanding the fleet, with aspirations to increase the number of aircraft to six. Such an expansion could involve cost-sharing with NATO allies, 
alleviating financial pressures while bolstering the UK's contribution to collective defense. The MOD's commitment to the program remains firm, with Defense Minister Maria Eagle highlighting its critical role in national and coalition operations. However, the program faces additional scrutiny due to the U.S. Air Force's recent decision to cancel its own E-7 Wedgetail program, citing cost increases from $588 million to $724 million per aircraft and concerns about survivability in contested environments. While this decision has raised questions about interoperability, UK officials are confident that the RAF's program will proceed unaffected, given the high cost of switching to alternative platforms like the Saab 380, which is considered less capable for the UK's needs as an island nation requiring extensive radar coverage. Parliamentary oversight of the E-7 Wedgetail program remains robust, with a Westminster Hall debate scheduled for July 16, 2025, led by MP John Cooper. The debate follows warnings from MP Calvin Bailey about major risks stemming from delays, the reduced fleet size, and uncertainties surrounding U.S. commitment. The program is part of the government major project portfolio, subject to regular reviews to ensure cost-effectiveness and accountability. Critics argue that the reduction to three aircraft undermines the RAF's ability to maintain persistent AEWNC coverage, particularly in high-intensity conflicts. Suggestions for alternative platforms have been dismissed, as the Wedgetail's advanced radar and interoperability with NATO systems are unmatched for the UK's strategic requirements. Looking ahead, the E-7 Wedgetail program is poised to play a pivotal role in the UK's defense posture, enhancing its ability to counter complex and evolving threats from peer adversaries. The aircraft's mobility, interoperability, and advanced sensor suite position it as a cornerstone of NATO and national air operations. Continued progress in WT-001's testing campaign, alongside potential fleet expansion and NATO collaboration, could mitigate current limitations and ensure the program's long-term success. However, Addressing delays, optimizing fleet availability, and navigating the implications of the U.S. program cancellation will be critical to realizing the wedge tail's full potential. As the RAF prepares for the next decade, the E-7 wedge tail remains a vital investment in maintaining a decisive edge in airborne early warning, command, and control operations, securing the U.K.'s position as a key player in global defense.